we're talking about people who have fled great harm. They've fled great harm. And they are coming here seeking refuge. And talk about political theater. I mean, playing games with people's lives, like with their lives. With their lives. She is so obnoxiously dumb. Is anyone actually buying this? With their lives. You know, there were mothers with sleeping babies getting off those buses. <gasps> mothers with sleeping babies getting off buses? Oh, oh my god! Oh my. <laughs> Wait, what? Fill me in on a few of these details. So planes in the middle of the night, landing in Westchester and other places, dropping people off, I assume, after being picked up at the southern border of the United States. That's right. Uh, we've just followed that route from, from Texas, from the southern border, uh, to White Plains, and they come via Jacksonville, Florida, where they drop off some of their migrants. And then uh, they arrive in the dead of night, as you said. No, there are mothers with sleeping babies getting off those buses. Hey, did you know that silver prices are low right now? Investors are selling their holdings because of a turn down in demand. Once fears subside, we could see a surge in demand for silver as customers come back, which is why it's a perfect time to get your silver IRA started right now. And this month you'll get an incredible free three ounce silver American virtue coin with a qualified IRA of $20,000 or higher. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit Noble Gold Invest and I just think it's an absolute dereliction of duty. If you see a problem and if we agree that, that we need to address it, then if you're a leader, participate in a solution, right? Wrong. You are the leader. You're the vice president and you're supposed to be in charge of the border crisis. Nuts. Insane. Bonzo, no longer in possession of one's faculties, three fries short of a happy meal. Whack off! This is what Kamala Harris wants you to believe. Sending illegal immigrants to border towns and to middle America in the dead of night equals leaders implementing a solution. Sending them to Kamala's neighborhood and liberal enclaves, that's political theater. When we first came in office, the first bill that we proposed was for a pathway for citizenship. Hey, uh, have you been hanging out with that World Economic Forum chick? Either that's a sign that she knows she's lying or that maybe she was doing a little something before the show. So essentially what Kamala and Democrats and their media are doing is admitting that what they do is use immigrants as a political tool. Never calling it that when they do it, of course, but when they see their political opponents do it, suddenly they're casting out that allegation and of course not getting called on it by the same people who play along when they do it. Now on to Biden who also owned himself without realizing it. Every single Democrat voted for the Inflation Reduction Act. Every single Republican voted against it. You're damn right. Another way of saying that might be that every Democrat voted for a bill that has nothing to do with lowering inflation. According to Forbes, the Inflation Reduction Act includes creation of a 15% corporate minimum tax rate, prescription drug price reform, IRS tax enforcement, mm -hmm. Oh great, an army of poorly trained and armed tax agents to crack down on the little guy. What more could we ask for? Affordable Care Act subsidy extension and energy security and climate change investments. You might think I missed something, but no, there's actually nothing in there to address inflation. And according to the nonpartisan Penn Wharton budget model, it won't do shit in regards to inflation. So what Republicans actually voted against was a bill that was sold as addressing inflation, but didn't. So in reality, all Joe Biden did was point out that Republicans Republicans are blameless when it comes to all the negative consequences of his fake Inflation Reduction Act. And most importantly, not only has inflation not gone down, but as of Thursday is expected to rise even higher, which will no doubt be covered up by the media and somehow transferred to the people out of power. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe, then leave a comment to vent some frustration. See you all in the next one.